Good morning, Narai here, gonna do a reading for Scorpio. And today's a today's Apollo Santo kind of day, so we're gonna cleanse the energy. <laughs> and I'm still putting on my Florida water, but for some reason I grabbed Palo Santo today and I don't normally do that. So if you need your energy cleansed, this is for you to remove any negative energy that may be on its way to you today so that it can skip you and move on to the next. This is to push away all bad and to cleanse your energy and your space, cleanse your aura. All right. So you're probably going to see the smoke. I'm going to leave that there. But we're going to do a reading for you. Spirit, we are going to do a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Any messages or guidance that they may need. And please help. Scorpio to keep away any negative energy on its way to them today. I didn't just grab my Palo Santo today, Scorpio. I grabbed my little salt shaker <clears throat> and it has it has salt in it specifically for spells. I keep it on my um, my baking rack, which has all my stuff, my herbs and spices. Um, but I feel like some of you may need to put salt outside of your door. Like white, cheap salt outside of your door. Doors. Outside, inside, on the door, uh, in the doorways to the house or apartment. I don't know why. Somebody needs that. So. All right. Messages for Scorpio. Please and thank you. What just flipped out? They're going back in, but the Six of Cups and the Page of Swords. Maybe there's a message of somebody from the past. Maybe there's negative energy lingering from somebody in the past. It doesn't have to be a lover. Maybe there's a past life connection you have that's toxic and it keeps coming around. I don't know, just putting that out there. All right, let's get the reading started. I love the smell of Palo Santo, by the way. All right, messages for Scorpio, please, and thank you. Ooh, what was the first card? Five of Swords. So there might be some sort of conflict mentally. Um, there could be somebody that at one time was being dishonest and lying. Um, but with this particular card in this deck, it just makes me think that there's stuff going on that has somebody in their head. Kind of like, why is this happening? Why is this person like this? So there may have been somebody... That you had to defend yourself against is what I feel. And you you completed a cycle with this person. You there was some sort of completion. Things came full circle. And this person does appear to be moving away from the person back there. There is blood in the snow. So there definitely was some sort of conflict or struggle. Maybe it was something um, that you struggled with in regards to somebody. But um, here you're looking elated. So it's like things have gotten better. Life is more colorful for you. And it could be that you were dealing with someone or something or had some sort of challenge in your life. And once you're able to move from it, things just seem brighter and lighter for you. 
Oh yeah, I absolutely think that that is what it is because guess what the next card was? The Wheel of Fortune. This is your luck changing because things are coming to a completion. Wow. Look up 2110, angel number 2110. These are both round, both people. Both people are looking up. It's like things are looking up for you, Scorpio. But look up angel number 2110. 21 is the world, 10 is the wheel of fortune. 2110. I think life is taking a new direction for some of you and that you're so excited about it. Mm. Oh, yes. It is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And things are getting better for you. But for someone else, it's almost like things got worse for them and they're having sleepless nights. Or it could be life could be this way for you, but some of you may be dwelling on the past. Stuck in the past, having nightmares and anxiety and depression over something that has happened and that cannot change instead of focusing on how am I going to say this? And the reason I say the past is because it's like there's this ghost here. This ghost bird. So there's like, there's this ghost pain. It's like, um, you know, sometimes when somebody gets a part of them amputated, it, they have like ghosts. It's like a ghost there where they still feel it, but it's not actually there. It's like that. I feel that some of you may be having like ghost pains, ghost anxiety. So, um, okay, now I'm making shit up, sorry. <laughs> but dwelling and stuck on something or someone that is no longer there and that can no longer hurt you, but you're holding on to it instead of seeing all the positive changes that have taken place since that person is no longer in your life. Things are happening for you. Things are, things should be feeling lighter, but because you're holding on to this way of thinking, it's stopping you from seeing the progress. You just need to be sure to have boundaries, protect your energy and your territory. This is you in a bubble. And just allowing certain people to enter that bubble. Don't be open to everybody. Everybody does not deserve the, the, the blessing of being in your presence. Ooh, I left a card behind. Yes. So with the Nine of Swords, I have the Eight of Cups. On the other side of the seven of wands. So this is you walking away from something that is no longer serving you. That's not emotionally fulfilling because you don't have answers. This is leaving something behind. You need to leave behind the, the idea of someone possibly. And for some of you, maybe you're having these... Um, sleepless nights and worry because you're still dealing with somebody that you're in conflict with that is that's not deserving of being in your life and in your energy and because you're with that person and you're staying in that energy you may be missing out on completing a cycle because you're still in that presence and your luck isn't changing because you're still in that presence sometimes all we need to do to feel better is leave or stop dealing with somebody or stop giving them our energy, stop giving them power over us to affect our mood and our happiness and how we feel. Mm. 
So I have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups is able to talk about his or her feelings. There may be somebody that's on their way to you that can actually have a conversation about their feelings. And this person is compassionate, whether it's a man or a woman. This is energy. Um, I say I'm a lot. They are able to express their feelings. They may not wear their feelings on their sleeves, but they are mature enough to talk about their feelings. This person is full of emotion. This person can be patient when they need to be. This person um, is supportive, so you're not going to feel like you're alone. This person will be involved with you in a relationship. And I feel like somebody like this is coming. And see, Spirit is saying there's more fish in the sea and you're, you're, you're dwelling on a crab. And cross watchers, feel free to turn the rolls, reverse the rolls. But you're, you're dwelling on a crab. And there's other fish in the sea. Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about you having boundaries, but you're also probably not going to see this coming. This is going to be something that happens fast. Be sure to have boundaries. Have those boundaries and let a person know when something makes you uncomfortable. I just realized I'm supposed to be doing a Capricorn reading. I'm doing Scorpio because the Palo Santo was calling me. Okay, this card came out like this and I pulled it like this. So here's what I'm going to say. Some of you are not going through a death because you're choosing to stay in a situation that makes you miserable. Once you leave, you will have the time to make the necessary changes. But for those of you that are not that are staying in this the situation that is not serving you, you're meant to be in it, but you're not meant I mean you were meant to go through this, but you are not meant to stay in it. You experience something so that you could do something different. And go through a rebirth and change the way that you do things and because of the fact that you are not closing cycles and you're staying in a situation that's not serving you you will continue to suffer I feel like this person has a negative energy and that that negative energy lingers around you and actually when I was saying energy in my when I was saying energy out loud in my mind I thought entity So I feel some of you, Scorpio, are dealing with somebody and at times the way that the person reacts, you, f you feel like this person could possibly be possessed. Why are you there? Why are you there? Oh my gosh. This reading should help you have an epiphany. And you know what's funny? Look, I'm going to show you something. This is the nine of, this is the nine of swords. This is the ace of swords. These together are the 10 of swords. It's like you're waiting for the ultimate betrayal and the, the most pain to happen before you do something differently. And you don't need to do that. You've gone through enough already and you should have a realization about the situation that you were in. I think some of you are dealing with a very evil entity that is in someone or somebody that is just really not a good person and you are suffering so much and you do not need to. So I hope you have an awakening moment um, and see things from a different perspective and realize all the challenges that you have had come into your life once you started dealing with somebody. You're dealing with somebody evil. Um, and I know this video is probably going to get a lot of thumb downs and thumbs down and I don't care um, because the only person that should be upset about this is the evil person. So 
if you know you're not an evil person and you're watching this video and I'm talking to a Scorp about uh, and it's for Scorpio and you're a person that's dealing with or was dealing with a Scorpio and you know you're not a bad person you don't have a reason to thumbs this down I'm gonna assume that every thumbs down on this video and there will be is the evil entity so hello but I'm gonna say um, goodbye with that um, here's some salt there you go salt um, hopefully you're protected a little by the Palo Santo energy that was sent to you good juju to you um, but I thank you for watching I love you guys please like share and subscribe and have an amazing day protect your energy and put yourself first because you are so worthy and deserving of love and respect and honor and you deserve somebody that is going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, okay? Love you. Bye.